Imagine capturing every shot with absolute precision, where each frame is a calculated masterpiece. This is the power of motion control. Today, we're focusing on precision pads. All right, who's excited to learn about precision pads? First, let's define them. A precision path in the context of motion control and camera robotics refers to the exact predetermined path along which a camera or robotic system moves to capture footage with pinpoint accuracy. The path is programmed to follow a specific trajectory, speed, and timing, allowing for highly repeatable and controlled movements. Precision paths are essential for complex shots, especially in scenarios requiring multiple takes that must look identical, like visual effects, or for creating smooth, seamless movements that would be challenging or sometimes impossible to replicate manually. In short, a precision path ensures that every frame and angle aligns perfectly, enabling filmmakers to push creative boundaries with reliable, consistent camera movements. It's worth mentioning that just because these robots were designed to move cameras specifically, that doesn't mean that that's the only thing that they can move. Uh, you are absolutely still able to use them to move inanimate objects, such as lights, for smooth, controlled changes in lighting. It's actually quite common for lights to follow a precision path on a controlled set to emulate the changing of time, the movement of the sun, or even the movement of a model. Let's take this shot for instance. We have a locked off cockpit shot of a LEGO X-Wing fighter where a robot is wrapping hard light around it. When you cut this together with an exterior shot of the aircraft actually rotating, it feels like you are actually in the cockpit as it's spinning through space. Precision pads are especially important when working with unique lenses such as probes and snorkels. Uh, you can get right up in the action and never miss a shot or focus. Speaking of focus, if you remember back to the flare video, I described programming in flare as a choreographed dance between a camera and a target in 3D space. Well, we use the focus as an additional axis to determine where the target is so that we can stay locked on while we pilot the camera to find keyframes and define our precision path. Here's an example of me doing that with my Cinebot Mini at home. All I did was rack focus to the tip of this WD-40 spray can and pilot the camera around to find some interesting frames. My precision path ensures that the focus and the target stay locked on the entire time. With high speed motion control, it's crucial that the focus is programmed as it would be incredibly difficult for anyone to keep up and nail focus manually. All right guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, feel free to like and subscribe and maybe leave a comment down below. I am reading them. And as always, if you have any specific questions, feel free to reach out to MRMC directly. Uh, if you'd like to connect, hit me up on Instagram. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.